Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm at the barn. Early in the morning, we got frost this morning. I think it was like uh, two degrees Celsius this morning. Anyways, I'm in the barn because I wanted to show you um, that internet system that we were, I'm hooking up. It's a wireless kind of mesh system. You can get so many different types. This is not a paid advertisement or anything. I'm just gonna show you what I use. So, just for now, I have my coffee. And the view is always better from the tractor. So this is the system I use. It's called a Wavelength. It's a uh, AC 600 dual band outdoor Wi-Fi range extender. And the reason I use it, this one, is because you could use it as a router if you want. Or a Wi-Fi repeater, and that's the key. You need a repeater. So what it does is it takes the signal from your router from the house and repeats it farther down the road where you want it. So I hook up like a bunch of these. So this is the, the old one that I had outdoors so you get all yellow. Um, we used this at the trailer when we were at the trailer. I got the Wi-Fi from the rec call and brought it all the way to my trailer and had free Wi-Fi. Well, the free Wi-Fi was at the rec hall, but we just extended the Wi-Fi range to our trailer. And this is the new one. The only problem with this one is when I uh, lo I moved this one, I have like two or three of these, and I moved this one, I lost the, the bottom piece and the power supply, and it's hard to get a power supply for this re replacement. So if you lose it, you're kind of like buying a new one. So this is like the power supply. It uses network cable to power it. And when I had it at the trailer, I had it on a big pole. So I have, my network cable was like 30 feet long to go to the house where this switch was. So, but anyways, this is not, we're not, we're just putting the barn here. So I'm not gonna use, I don't need that far of a cable right now, but I could always switch it later. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put this outside the barn and hopefully I'll get Wi-Fi inside the barn. Uh, yeah, so this does about uh, 500 meters, and you can get a fancier one that's $200. These are like $100. You can get a $200 one that does way more. Uh, it's got four antennas. It does way better. But I already had like a bunch of these, so I just kept with the same. And just had more. So more sometimes might be better just in case one breaks um, at least you have like two or three four of these hanging around and they all intermingle to each other and yeah it creates like a big spider web of wi-fi network around the farm it also comes with this bracket that you uh screw to the wall i guess and it just clips right on clips right on like that okay so i just hooked up the wi-fi in the barn and I turned the light off so you can see. It has green lights, power, WLAN, that's if I'm hooked up directly to the LAN, which I'm not. So I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi. And then there's these other green lights, and that tells you the signal strength. So right in the barn, I have hardly any signal strength. But I went to the other end of the barn, and I actually hooked up to this Wi-Fi network. So, it worked pretty good, even though it says a low signal strength. So I'm gonna find, I have to go, I have to put this outside the barn to get a really strong signal strength. And I just had it like a second ago outside this door that will increase my, my signal strength from this thing as well. On my phone, I disconnected all the hookups, like the Bluetooth and everything else, and the data, and I just had Wi-Fi, and it worked perfectly down the end of the barn. So even though I have this little signal, I'm gonna look for a better place to put this. And uh, yeah, we should be good. Also note, this is does 5G, and also 2.4G, which is like 3G. So that's the 5G, that's the 3G. So yeah, so it, it's pretty current with what you need for your barn. I mean, you could, you, like a friend of mine, I told him, just get one of these. I said, you might need two or three, depending on how far your barn is, but he uh, only had one, and he was, you know, he's 
his barn was pretty far away. And he uses one and he gets good signal. So all well, depends on how your Wi-Fi is. So yeah, that's it for this little quick update on our Wi-Fi. And eventually I'll show you the camera system that we get and all the monitors we're going to put around the yard. Penny! Come here, Pen! you all be looking chubby. Too chubby. Good at morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is Tuesday and... Chino is getting his feet done today. Plus, I'm gonna show you guys something that we ordered for the girls. It's so exciting. All right, it's officially too cold for Laura. Holy moly. Oh, it's cold. I told Gabby, go down and make sure that the barn is swept because Sam and the girls do chores in the morning while I clean the house and get ready for school. Oh no, my battery is dying. Anyways. Ow, Sophie's like at the age now, and that's a stage where if you bother her, she's gonna floor you. Anyways. Um, is this great so everyone knows what the horses' names are? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm sending my friend. I don't want to Put it on your TikTok. Anyways. Oh, I. So, Gabby, go get your horse and bring him in. I'll go get my horse and bring him in. I told Gabby, come down to the barn and make sure it's swept. She said, oh. Mama, it is swept. Mm -hmm. Well, Dad swept it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. That's why I sent you down, sister. She took off. <laughs> he saw Gabby and he booked it. She should just bring them all in because it's 10.58. Yeah, time for them to come in. And I want to play. And they're all getting fat. Just pull it off. Okay. Basically, he's been lame since he got shoes, so why not try them? Try him where he has time to, like, heal his feet. Well, hello, girlfriend. I had an apple for breakfast. Hard time getting them in the arena. You had the hard time getting them yeah. in the arena? Penny, Why? I got Penny in, and then I got Willow in, and Gracie was in a different section, so I'd go over there, and i turn around. And they were and out again? Walking back, and they're out. Yeah. So then I run around the field 50 minutes, for like 30 minutes, trying to chase her and get her in. Oh, and you're back, girl? Her in I just gave her an apple, too. I finally get her in the arena, and the others follow. And I'm like, I'm not. Leaving this open. All right. Well, so we have a video for you today. But first, let's explain. We took grain buckets. Chino comes with grain buckets. Yeah. Oh. Until you don't give him the grain, that's not gonna make him come for very long. Anyways, so any horse can go shoeless. Like it might take him a long time to build up his foot. He never had a problem that he needed shoes. He's never had like he never had a problem that he needed shoes until one time his feet got too long and they dished out and he got sore so then our vet said throw shoes on him and he'll just perk right back up and he didn't like and brandon told us last night like if you put shoes on a horse to make them sound and they don't get sound take the shoes off and we didn't do that we didn't know that like there's so much we don't know you guys give her an apple there's a bag of apples there why do you why does she have to give you an apple because I'm giving it to Chino. I'm using these for Willow. He's just getting a half of an apple. Or no. I okay, wait, 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 wait. Give her a half of an shoe. apple. Shoe. Yeah. So how how do you feel about taking off his shoes, Gabby? It's Break worth it a try. Shirt. Don't give it the whole thing. He will shove it in his mouth. I know him too well. He shoves everything in his mouth. So Sylvia's yeah, been working on her makeup, makeup, trying to figure it all out. Have you been watching videos or just no. talking to Gabby? Just talking to Gabby. The only thing that, like, yeah, she I put just too much talked to me and I didn't explain it. I put too much on my nose. Well, I like that she's trying. I can see how she contoured I'll her you nose. Of what you okay, come here, do. over here, over here. I like it. I think she's doing such a good job. The only thing that makes me a bit nervous wow. is that she's still got to figure out the colors. I don't know. You guys can't see the color <laughs> of our skin. Like, don't do it. She, the bronzer she's using might be too bronze. No, Sophia. Oh my gosh. No. Is this how? No. Poor horses. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So what? So anyways, Chino is barefoot, and we're just gonna take oh, our time and toughen him up. In fact, what, Gabby, bring him out. We're gonna put some stuff in the seat. What more better do you guys think? I think I sacrificed one. a thumb. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing that Sam ordered for the girls yesterday. Oh, yeah. One for Gabby. This is mine because I took the button out of it. I call it. She knows how to do it because she pounces yeah. on the place. Yeah. 
And a wind up for Sophie. How do I open? They're supposed oh. to come with batteries, but they haven't, They but they didn't. I don't think. Ah, so, you guys have seen pink. these? You, how do I record? <laughs> okay, Gabby wins. <laughs> I didn't even get to show someone else. So. I know. I know. All right. So, for any of you guys who don't know, who haven't seen these on TikToks, these are like training buttons. What you do is you record a response on here. So, you can say, this one might say yes when you push it, and this one might say no. This and one's then, yes. This yeah. one's no. I don't really want to record my voice. Well, I'll record it for you. <laughs> Sophie can record it for you. Um, yeah. But anyways, you can use these as a training aid, and they're super cool, super fun. This train your pet. This box is cute. Yeah, I love boxes too. But my you can train your pet. knows how to ring the bell to go outside. So. Yeah, so does hers. I've always wanted these, just so you know. Yeah, are you glad you got them? Um, what if, um, that is all dirty. I... Attach one to my phone and then leave it down here and Willa presses it and it calls me. Then I can say, Oh, it's time to go down to the barn for Willa. Oh my god, that would be so funny. I just thought of that. Like, well, we're getting cameras you have in here. There in there. I know, I'm, my mascara is not good. I poked myself in the eye like three times. <laughs> over <laughs> no? Okay. It's okay, she's learning, and it's okay to learn, Gabby. Be kind. So the challenge today is to pick a pet and train them how to respond by pushing the appropriate button. So that means you have to get them to choose the right button, the right response. I would, they're gonna fail. Well, I would do Daisy, but she's kind of deaf. The she right response, I her. think, stuff like this. whenever they want to go outside, outside, and they go outside. My yeah. dog already has a thing for that. Yeah. It rings bells. It's kind of yeah. annoying. Molly knows how to ring bells. All right. So anyway, they're going to choose, figure it out today as part of our homeschool, and we're going to train our pet. Who are you choosing? Gino's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Gino's like, choose me. Choose me. What are you doing? So who are you going to choose? Willow. Willow. Who are you going to train? Molly. Molly. All right. I mean, you could do Gracie. Or you could do Chino. Yeah, I was gonna say, I Chino? Do Chino, but... No, don't do Chino, you eat it. Also, these were supposed to come with batteries and they didn't. <laughs> He's like, exit? He's like, I'll take the box. Two, two you can open the door. <laughs> Whoa! And he doesn't just open it gently, he flings that sucker. Just wait, let him do it again. Open it. I can already tell the difference in Chino when he first ripped off his shoe last week to now. Like at first he would hardly even walk forward and now he's galloping through the field. So I know, I think it'll be quick this time. He'll probably have like a good few days you know what where he's is? sore and then he'll start to feel better. You know what the sad thing is? What? Willow was begging me in the arena to do a trick. She even spun with me just standing there. Yeah, Willow likes tricks. Well, hello. Did I catch you licking your salt lick? <laughs> She's like, yes, yes I am. Sophie's coming down to work with Willow and I am coming down to a pick, poop pick the winter field. And the mares are grouchy, they're so grouchy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Penny's in there snooping around. <laughs> She's looking at me now. She's in the barn, I'm out here cleaning. She's in there like bored out of her mind. She's looking everywhere to see what she can get into. And Willow is with me. She's sticking it out with, oh, here comes Penny. She's sticking it out with me because who knows? People always mean treats. <laughs> treats and training, that's what she thinks. You coming? <laughs> For when I want to ask her a question, I can say, she can yes. say, yes? No. No. And then the blue one? Spin. Is spin. So if I don't want to have to say it, I can just press a button. She really wants these. Um, and this one, magic, magic button. Oh, so close. Um, this one. Let her push is it. So I can ask her, what do you want? Treat. And if she wants a treat, then she needs a treat. Okay, that is your. Wait, you got birds in your hair, Willow. Willow. No, wait, wait. Ow, that hurts. Put my hurt. new lipstick on. 
Oh, so they got new lipstick that kind of Ow, those things hurt. Why don't you do that to the button? Go get a brush and brush that out of her hair, please, because that hurt. Yeah, sweet. No. Bib. <laughs> Welcome to your new world, Willow Girl. Bib. <laughs> she did it like she actually pushed on it. All right, do it again. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? She didn't push hard enough, but she is pushing it. Do you want a treat? So if it doesn't want her to use her feet because, yes, because she doesn't want to break the buttons. If you use her feet, she'll stand on them. I know, I'm going to train my girl. She'll just be standing on them and she'll go drop. I think my girl would be able to do it. Yes. Good girl. <laughs> So smart. In just a few minutes, we'll see how Willow, who's spitting at the moment, uh, made out, and we'll also check in on Gabby and see how uh, Molly is doing with her buttons. Hold on. Do you treat? Yes. <laughs> she just bites it. What we need to do is duct tape them to the. Yes. <laughs> you want a treat, Gracie? You want a treat? Hold on, you gotta actually push it. You want a treat? You want a treat? Yes. <laughs> they try and it's eat it. <laughs> this is it for today. I still have this section over here. Not much left. They don't really do a lot of pooping down there. They usually stay up here in the sun. But that is it for today. All right, so I guess the girls are struggling. This is more than a one. I'm only struggling with this. Yeah, so. <laughs> I set them on the thing and I was like, up? Uh? Yeah! So it's gonna take us longer than I thought. I got a burger. Yeah. You got a burger? They were gonna go bad anyways. There's still another one. What about the Dogs are colorblind. How are they gonna know which one's yes or no? Hmm, that is a good point. Molly. Okay. Button. You want three? Good job. Button. Good, Button. good job. She needs to just push it a little harder and it'll be good. Does yours have recorded things on it? Yeah, but I don't like it. Well, you need the sound on so she knows. Yes. Did you see her look at it? Gracie's yeah, like, oh, look, Gracie's going to do it. She heard my voice. Molly. Button. Button. Yes. Yeah. See, that's what you need to do. I think so far, look, she's guarding her button. Don't you no, touch it. No, she recorded something else. <laughs> she was holding it, resting her leg, and it... That's what she recorded. <laughs> you unrecorded it, Molly. Penny pickle. Button. Back outside. Oh, so they wrote on top of them. Yeah. Oh, no they didn't. Did you? I did. Hi, sweet girl. Okay. Hello. I got nothing. I'm really worried about you guys. You're getting way too fat. I think this is the fattest our horses have ever been. And... What? That's what I said too. On the outside. We should hang it on a piece of wood and then hang the wood on the wall. And then when we come down to the barn, they can just go right over to it and tell us. Yeah, actually we could get Velcro. Yeah, all right. All right, well we're gonna work on this and this will be another video. Stay outside. 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 We're soon going to move the horses off the pasture and leave them probably next week and leave them on the dirt paddock because it's almost that time. We want our pasture to be able to like recuperate a little before the snow comes so that we don't get a lot of weeds and stuff next year. This year we already had enough weeds that it was annoying. Now her dog knows how to push buttons. Sit. Sit. Sam's new truck is going to arrive Button. next week Molly. and after that we'll take the horses off the pasture so that it can recuperate. Uh, once he has his truck he'll be able to go and pick up hay again. Usually he picks up hay every week and he hasn't been able to since he lost his truck. So 
we've been fortunate that we've had the grass and we've been and we're fortunate that we're gonna have a truck just in time to take the horses off pasture <laughs> there is some confusion <laughs> There is some confusion in the miniature department. <laughs> Sophie put them on that little stool, but then Willow kept trying to step up. So then she put them on a different surface so that Willow wouldn't automatically think step up. But then Willow decided to try and step up anyways. <laughs> Look at that jumping bean. She's so good at jumping. I'm like a golden crown world and high up in the sky. Oh, it's the way you make me feel so good. Feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good. Don't you know that you're 